Now we're going to replace this uh, fuel pump, injection pump. One, two, three covers off. You don't have to take this cover off to do this. I have another video that shows that, but we're doing a water pump on this video, so we're just going to uh, replace the injection pump at the same time. So we remove these three, don't move the timing, put some grease on this uh, stub, whatever I think it's called, so it doesn't fall out. And there's a timing mark right up here. There's three bolts, one, two, and a third one on that side. And I've marked uh, the tubes with just simple one, two scribes, three scribes, four scribes, five, six, seven. I've just gone clockwise around so that I don't have to uh, worry about um, putting them in the wrong place. Intake is off. You have to do this without the intake. Uh, I've done it with just this side off. And you can do it with just one off. But uh, we're doing both anyways because we're doing other cleanup. And we're going to replace this injection pump. Pulling this cover off, it fits in here. You know, it fits down in here, you remove it. That way you can put a wrench to the back of the injection pump here so that you can remove these. So that way this doesn't spin and it stays put in the injection pump. Okay, so we've removed this side to all the injection tubes. The inlet, we've removed it. We'll be replacing the hoses. On this side, we go. We're definitely shade tree mechanics. Okay, so on this side, we've also loosened up everything on the injection pump. We're just gonna remove And then the other one, we're going to remove it as well. It's ready to go. Just gonna wiggle it out of here. There we go. And then we'll uh, clean all this up. And the next thing to do is to remove the injection pump, which is one, two, three bolts. One, two, and then a third one. And it's ready to come out. Here's a side-by-side -side of the old versus the new. I've got to remove the throttle position sensor over to this side. I've still got to remove, transfer the bracket across to the other one. And this one had a different connector on the top. So I just transferred the old one to here and we'll just use the old one because it has a military style and this is uh, the commercial style. So um, it's just the top, not a big deal. And the front, you can see the old one's pretty oxidized and this new one will do uh, hopefully a pretty good job at uh, running. So we'll get this shortly in. I already cleaned the three bowls with brake cleaner and put uh, blue Loctite on it. I also sprayed the three holes, make sure that they're nice and clean. Because we don't want these bolts coming out. So then we just gotta torque it, tighten it, torque it and um, making progress putting in a uh, injection pump okay we're starting at the bottom and working our way up we're using hydraulic wrenches that one's tight and now we're gonna go to this one we're gonna just work our way up we're just gonna use uh, a regular wrench just to because they're easier but once we tighten them we're going to use the hydraulics because they get uh, a better grip they're a little harder to get in there but a 
and that's it. And then this one will just tighten it. And then we'll start working on the other side. We'll cheat with the regular open faced wrench because they're quick. So I've got compressed air, I've blown all these tubes out, made sure they're clear, clean, no dirt, no grime. Okay, we're done on this side. These are still loose, they're fingered, you can see, they're just finger tight. So I'll leave these finger tight, just so that I don't get dirt in them. But that's how I'm going to bleed these. Once I start seeing diesel come out of these, then I know my pump is uh, pushing uh, diesel out, and uh, then I'll start tightening them. So now we're going to go to the other side. Okay, so we're doing this side. We've got them marked. You can see I've got three on this one, and then four on this one. So we're just going to move them to the side. That way we can get access. That way we can get access to the one on the bottom. We'll get these out of the way. Aperta. Tighten. So we're gonna tighten this. I think it's uh, right on the bottom. Kind of tricky to do these. I first do them finger tight just so that I get it organized. Uh, check my pictures that I take from the camera. I mark them with little scribes on them and um, get it close with the regular open wrench. Okay, we're gonna do the final with the hydraulic wrench. Get it nice and tight. And then this one goes uh, four. I just marked them. Definitely need to be patient. Then. This is the last one. Okay, we're gonna th connect the throttle cable. We got this little clip. It's used on a lot of different cars, a lot of GM cars. And we just gotta push over it, push down on it. And you'll hear it click. It's on. Yep, it's on. And then we gotta adjust the throttle cable. <laughs> 